When we consider the power of God, each person needs to realize that God's hand is not too short to do anything. Consider Genesis chapter 1. When God created all things at creation, God merely spoke and it was. It's amazing to think that just by verbal command from God, everything was created from nothing. If God spoke man into existence, then certainly God has the power to save man from his sins. It's amazing that God does not expect the impossible of us, but the simple. In Romans 12 verses 1 and 2, we find that Paul tells the brethren in Rome that being a living sacrifice is a reasonable service. Friends, pleasing God is not the impossible, but rather it is completely possible. Notice that God's word is simple. It's not crafty. It's not deceptive. And this is the point that Paul was making to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians 1 verses 18 through 31. Here the text reveals that the gospel of Christ comes across as being foolish to those who choose not to believe. But to those who do believe, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. By using the simple things of this life, God puts the wisdom of the world to shame. The Almighty that created the worlds has made reconciliation possible for mankind. God has set his plan for salvation, and it's man's duty to take heed to what God has said and be obedient, Ecclesiastes 12, verses 13 and 14. Yet man has rejected God's plan and devised his own way for salvation, and any other plan devised other than that plan which God has developed leads only to destruction, Matthew 7, verses 13 and 14. God said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts your thoughts, Isaiah 55, verses 8 and 9. Friends, this ought to humble each person to realize that God is so much superior to man. Therefore, let us come to listen to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, I've noticed that many in this present world desire religion to be flashy and entertaining and emotional. Basically, they expect it to be more complicated than what God has planned. Well, such people need to review the old paths and test their traditions and their contemporary activities to see just how far they've strayed away from this simple plan. Consider the means by which we are saved. God says that we must hear the word, Romans 10 and verse 17. Then we must believe the word of God. We must repent of our sins. We must confess that Jesus is the Christ. And we must be baptized for the remission of our sins, 1 Peter 3 and verse 21. Now man says that you feel when you're saved. And the only need to believe that Jesus is the Christ and even go so far as to say that God is too loving of a God to punish his creation. But sadly, these doctrines are not found in God's word. But those who earnestly desire to follow God will look into the scriptures and find his simple plan. Jesus said, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled, Matthew 5 and verse 6. God's word is what is able to satisfy this hunger for righteousness because it is his word that equips us to do good works, 2 Timothy 3 and verse 17. The gospel teaches us that we must be baptized in order to remove our sins, Acts 2 and verse 38. And for the person who believes the gospel of Christ, that person understands that it is necessary to wash and be clean, Acts 22 and verse 16. Is it such a hard and complicated thing to understand this? What if God asked us to do some hard thing, some difficult thing? Would we do it? If so, then why is it that people want to rant and rave about baptism? The reason is simple. Many are too proud to submit to the will of God. Our attitude needs to always be like that of Isaiah when he declared, Here am I, send me, in Isaiah 6 and verse 8. When God commands, we need to jump at the opportunity to obey him. Solomon concluded the book of Ecclesiastes in this way, Fear God, 
and keep his commandments, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 13. Yes, friends, it is possible to please God. God has told us what we want. We will hear and take heed to the things that he has spoken if we want to please God. And remember that it was God's word that caused creation. And it is his word that saves mankind today. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today and have a blessed day.